Hello everyone. In time, one of my most um money most er, second recent money making strats. I had some flaws, and uh, it is kind of for beginners, but. I thought of a new great idea because I'm going to combine both my beginner money making guide and my steel increase from the port into one video. So uh, yeah, let's get straight to it. This is actually more advanced though, so yeah. You need the sneaky disguise and a forklift and you have to work at the port. And basically that's it. Now you just got to teleport um, fast travel until it's like nighttime. I recommend having a watch, but. Okay, when it's like 7.30 or 8, uh, it, it might not look dark, but like usually around 8, I usually like start to head out. You want to pull into the stop and snack, and you want to grab some energy drinks. You don't have to pay for them. You can actually just like leave and then hide into the washroom right here. But since I just want to like pay for them, I guess I will. Now head over to the port. There we go, he's sleeping, so you want to enter. Okay, now you're going to go to your forklift. You want to go past this guard. Now he's not going to let you, but you want to go through, exit, tap on your bag quickly. So now you're a bit safe. You want to go to the phone and call one of a random billboard. You are going to have to have a billboard, but like, yeah. Do you want to cancel? No. Do you want to make changes? Yes. <laughs> so now you're actually not going to make any changes. You're just going to exit. There you go. Now change into your sneaky disguise. I don't even know how it's a bright environment, but whatever. <laughs> so now you want to go behind warehouse A. Remember to avoid security cameras. And you want to make sure there's no trucks coming by. Like that one. And then you want to run to that door. Now, it will uh, help if you have rabbit shoes, but if you don't, just run really fast. There we go. So now you can open the gate for your forklift. You are going to see a lot of like different types of food, like beef, jerky, and hamburgers. Um, you want to grab those. Not You might not see any of these foods, so like just grab. You have to keep coming back until you see uh, a hamburger and beef jerky because like they're one of the most common foods that spawn here so now this is the exiting part which is not that uh hard basically you just want to uh go to the um restricted area in the left lane and you want to head down into this control box where you see it's control panel you want to open it and flip the switch up and then go back to your car and then just exit he will see you try to exit, so basically what you want to do is tiptoe past the guard. Once you open the gate, you are going to back up your game. You're not going to the testing room, you're just backing up your game. The reason you're doing this is that if you try to exit and people come from the right, they will catch you. So, like, um, you can just back up your game back to the save and you'll be safe. Yeah, there you go. It looks like nobody came from the side. I'm going to say side, so, like, yeah. Remember to finish off your energy drinks at the diner table so you don't fall asleep. Okay, so now you're gonna drop off all your stuff. You should get like 40 items worth of uh, good food inside your bag. Now you just wanna like go sleep. Okay, so now it's a fresh new day. You're gonna head over to the diner. Okay, so now you're gonna buy burgers and fries, which will, uh, yeah. Since it's a fresh new day, you want to go to the uh, stop and snack, and you could s steal beef jerky. So now you're running, you're gonna head over to the island. If I'm using an island map, so I could just teleport there. Then basically, you want to go to the taco shack, which is at the top area. Okay, so now you just want to buy all of the tacos. We are gonna have a lot of junk food. That's good. You go head over to the dumpster. The dumpster inside like the alley near the spaghetti person. 
So right over here. And then you just want to put all of the food into the trash. So once everything's trash, you just want to pick it all back up. Now you just want to head over to the sawmill. Now you want to go behind this fence over here, and you'll see a bear. You want to sell all the food to him. He'll give you a thousand for all the trash. But that's not all. You still have a lot more to sell. Go back home. I'll sell you another 1,000. He'll give you another 1,000. Then he'll give you another 1,000. He'll give you another 1,000. Like 5,000. Like. I'll just give you like 200. There you go. You got $5,200. That's like, oh my gosh. And the other method, you only got like a thousand. Two thousand, maybe. But like in this method, you get so much more. It's a little bit more advanced and it takes a little bit more time, but like it gives you so much more. And you could be like grinding this to get a lot of money instead of doing Sasquatch 100. You could do this instead. So yeah, um, uh, thank you guys all for getting me to 150 subscribers. And like, uh, like yeah, I, I had no idea would actually get that goal before like summer ends. Uh, that summer even hasn't like started yet. I also uh, recently got all of the cassettes except for 21. Some reason it's not there, and 40 because it's bugged. Let me know if you want me to do a tutorial about this. Um, uh, in the comments down below, yeah. Currently, my favorite uh, music to listen to is Gotta Go Fast. The speedrun music, you know, whenever I'm trying to do something fast. Otherwise, I like to listen to uh, Day of the Races. Or when I'm sad, I like to listen to Rainy Day. But also, the new ones like Big Boss, USS Never Coming Back, and Send Off, they're pretty catchy too, so yeah. That's it for the video. Uh, thanks for watching so much. Uh, really means a lot and uh i'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the summer so uh, you remember to like and subscribe it's absolutely free and like it's a very kind deed and stuff anyways uh that's it for the video bye